welcome to the pen pal family hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i upload new videos i am super excited to be reacting to iron maiden today this is a reaction video we have to pause and give our review if not we attract copyright blocks and in worst case scenario a copyright strike and we don't want that because that means we're gonna lose this channel so I'll introduce this song the same way that I did in a slightly lighter, more vulgar tone that I did at Long Beach Arena 1984. This is what not to do if your bird shits on you. The rhyme of the ancient mariner! So I don't know if I just paused and a solo about to come out. If I did, forgive me in advance. But um, it's a very interesting song. And the, the phrase he made at the beginning, <laughs> if, a if, a bird, if a bird poops on you, do this. <laughs> One thing I can say is that, um, one thing I can say, um, the storytelling and the diversity in the crowd, like everyone is on here. It's a very diverse group of fans and, um, it's a kick, kick butt song. <laughs> song might have multiple solos um, at least I didn't pause on the first solo so that's that's a good thing um, I don't know um, so what what I'm catching from the song has to do with like a voyage because it's talking about you know the sea just trying to absorb give me a moment to really absorb what's going on i like how high pitched his voice is he has a high pitched voice it's really charismatic and for some people that key might not be comfortable but he's singing the whole song in in that key it seems so that must be a comfortable key for him but that's high and um yeah That was, that was 
really good. Love his vocals, love his control, loves how he goes from straight tone to vibrato. Oh man, I love that progression. Did y'all see that pro drum set and guitar progression like that? Did you hear that? That was so good. Like that whole combination was so good. Like I was like, oh, I love it. Yes, yes. I like that was a great surprise element for me. I liked that progression, the one we just came from. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, you know I love instruments and these people are just, oh, they're doing everything with it. They're modulating, they're going down, they're going up, crescendo, decrescendo, like they're doing it. Like, I feel like this music is just massaging me right now because all parts of my senses are very awake. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> break because they also break in on the song right now they transitioned from high energy like boom 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 to like calmness and they, they tell in the story it's like I'm listening to an audiobook I'm like what happens next what happened next what happens next what happens next and then 
they're using the instruments to tell the story did you hear that sound they were making that sound sounded like a duck sounds that you will hear on the sheet i love how well not only is the vocal telling the story the instruments are also telling the story and the, it's a whole experience and they want us to calm down and really hear what they're saying in this part and i love the voice actor he's doing such an amazing job like he's fun to listen to whoever is doing this um portion of the song you can is it one of the band members
that was something all three of them there each one doing their part from the base to like just the different parts i was just like i'm stuck on the guitar solos but do you, are you guys checking out the drums you see what the drums are doing everyone is coordinated everyone is on point everyone is coordinated everyone is doing you know their part they work so well as a band storytelling he reminds me of he reminds me of someone who would be great in broadway he has that theatrical voice that projects you know also those kinds of voices they use in the movies you know the band is amazing and honestly i didn't really know what to expect from the song i just know like the title sounded kind of epic you know reminds me of like the sheep the pirates there's the part where he sounded like he was a pirate so they really tried to stick to the theme the whole production was great the lights were coordinating with the singing the crowd like knew every word of the song and the whole the whole the whole thing was an experience i enjoyed all the solos very unpredictable and different segments tell different parts of the story it seems like the the story they're narrating someone seemed like they were in captivity and eventually sold to freedom and got freed like they were being charmed i really liked how poetic the song is very poetic and the whole delivery everything was great and you can tell he's a very passionate he's very passionate about his music yeah so fill me in on who is who i was trying to focus on the music at the same time focus on the lyrics so feel free to open my eyes to more insights about this amazing song we just witnessed let me know if there are um, any other reactions you'd like me to do in terms of metal reactions here we have pink floyd we have metallica um this is our second iron mating you could check out our hello be thy name by um by iron maiden and let me know if there are any other bands you'd like me to check out we have disturbed here as well um which is you know building our catalog and you, where you come in is to, to make the suggestions of what you'd like me to see what you'd like me to experience and uh, definitely hit the notification bell so whenever i upload you be the first to no thanks for sticking around if you're still here hey smash that like button and share this video love you guys